HistoryBuff.com is a nonprofit organization and has two outreach programs. One is a traveling Lincoln Assassination Museum with dozens of original relics on display. There is no charge for admission to this museum. The second outreach program is giving historical presentations to schools, Civil War musters and round tables, historical societies, and other nonprofit organizations. One presentation is about Tad Lincoln, the youngest of Abraham and Mary Lincoln's sons. This presentation contains three main segments. Students will learn about nutrition and sanitation, as well as tying in today's everyday life with those of Tad Lincoln. The following is one of those three segments. Tad Lincoln, the youngest son of Abraham and Mary Lincoln, was born with a cleft palate. Now that picture doesn't have some Tad Lincoln. Well, since you come back, we're going to try a little experiment here. Of course, everybody knows the alphabet. When Tad Lincoln was born, they did the doctors have, didn't have any way of fixing this. So he had to go through his whole life like that. That's what the look of your mouth would normally be, but he didn't have the look of his mouth. That presented a lot of problems. We're going to do a little experiment here. Of course, everybody knows the alphabet. So, say so put them loud and together, we're going to say the part of the alphabet that be like A, B, C. Now, if I hold my hand up like that, it means stop. Well, let's see if we can say, each time I put my hand, it's the next letter of the alphabet, okay? A, louder, B, C, D, okay, stop. Where does your tongue go when you Say the letter D. Yep, goes on the top of your mouth. Now, if you don't get the look in your mouth, you can't touch it to make the sound. So if you have a left palate, you can't make the D sound. Now, to yourself, keep going with the alphabet. D. What happens to the G? Goes to the so, if you're trying to say the word like dog, it's easy for all of us. If you can't say the word, if you can't say the sound D, and you can't sound, say the sound, sound out the word G, how would you say dog? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. There's a lot of other, other letters in the, in the alphabet that you're going to need to go to your mouth to be able to say it. So, when you talk like that, but you can't make certain sounds, they call it speech impediment, or a problem with the speech. So, we're going to wait till the end. Now, another thing, if you look up here on the top, you see the teeth on the side? Of course, you see some teeth on the bottom, that's just his tongue is really there. But see up here? No teeth. <laughs> now, your top front teeth and your bottom front teeth is what you do to chew. Like when you're chewing a piece of meat or a hamburger or carrots or anything you're eating, you chew with those front teeth. Now, if you can't chew with the front teeth, how do you eat? Either mashed potatoes or pudding, or apple sauce, or a soup, things like that. But you can't live off of just those foods. Now, when you get hungry, it's your body's way of telling you that you need something. What is it you need when you get hungry? Food. Food. Why do we eat food? Not just because we get hungry, but why do we eat food? Okay. Because food has an older grades are going to know this, but for the younger grades, food has nutrition in it. Nutrition is things like vitamins, um, cholesterol, carbohydrates, protein. Your body needs all that stuff in order to survive. So, 
if you can only eat socks with it, like pudding or potatoes or whatever, powder. They don't have protein in them. So how do you get the protein? And it's possible. But then that would be kind of hard to chew. You have to swallow them all. It's going to sound gross. But you know how he got his nutrients that he needed? His mother Mary, Mary Todd Lincoln, what she would have to do is say, take a bite of hamburger or a bite of meat or a bite of carrots, anything like that. She would chew up, take it out of her mouth and put it in Tad's mouth so he could just swallow it. That's the only way he could get the Christmas. Okay, we're just going to do a couple of questions here. So watch what I tell them. Okay, and the origins. But they didn't have vitamins now. You couldn't take those. Well, I just asked what hand would it eat. Okay? And we don't have a picture of this. This girl over the cruise should not. Sure not. He does the fun part where your teeth grow and develops with the fun palate that's not fixed that never grows in properly. And for the fun palate, in the moment, you can end up with both. I'm going to do the two girls in the back, and then we'll move on to another topic. So you can say your question loud enough for all of them to hear. Why didn't they just like mash it and then give it to them? You mean like meat or carrots or something like that? I'm not sure why the difference was. Can't say they didn't think of it, but that's what I read about Pat Lincoln and his birth of Pat Lincoln. The girl next to her in white, you had a question? Uh, she asked if there were any other kind of foods you could eat without the plum. Well, basically, the ones you already said mashed potatoes, pudding, soup, soup that didn't have to put more like a rock, where you didn't have to chew meat or whatever in the soup. Now, before we jump into the next topic, I'm going to have to limit it to about three people. If you have questions about the cut power or eating or nutrition or vitamins and things like that. Okay, how about the boy and wife? You need food for energy too. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to go all the way over there to the boy in green.